Hey, what is up guys? Uh, this is episode 7 of the 1 goal to 10k flipping challenge. For those who are new, I'll put the rules on screen as per usual. Last episode, we ended off with roughly 1,000 gold in our bags and around 5.3k worth of listed auctions. A lot of those auctions were super mana pots and spell cloth. So the goal for this episode is just to keep working on what we did last episode and focus up on some more relevant TBC rating items. I think right now that's probably where most of the money is at, especially with many people raid logging. So that means more people are buying consumes and raid items last minute. So let's see if we can maybe make a push for possibly 7 to 8k this week. Alright guys, so we're starting the week off with our first 100 auctions. Unfortunately, no sales. Uh, someone did mention last episode that it is completely normal to see no sales in your first batch of auctions since typically the last auctions are the ones that just expired. Uh, but if we do see some sales in our first batch, it also means that most likely we'll have some sales in our next few batches of auctions as well. So that's typically why I prefer seeing sales in our first 100, but by no means is it a bad sign. Alright, so in our first batch we had some spell cloth and some planar essences that did not sell. In batch number two, we have some more planar essences and some mana pods that haven't sold. Uh, but we do have 360 gold of sold auctions in this one. We also have obviously all of our patterns again from the previous episodes that are still coming back. But it looks like most of our gold in this batch is from some arcane dust. And we also have a few mana pods that sold, which is really nice. And we also have a few scrolls as well. And this is pretty much our last batch of auctions. We'll just have four individual auctions to open after this one. But in this batch, we have 1,000 gold pretty much. It looks like we have a variety of items, some thick leather, some mana pots, some scrolls. Uh, but we finally sold all of our arcane tomes. I knew when we picked these up, uh, I said they were kind of hit or miss. And I'd say overall, even if we did make some gold on them, uh, because we did buy them so cheap, I would almost consider this as the loss since it took us almost up to a week to sell. Although this is kind of a good lesson I guess for items like Arcane Tomes, even if they don't sell the first go around or even after a few times of listing them. Uh, don't get scared guys, these types of items always sell and they don't have a deposit cost either. So just be patient and you'll get ahead if you play it right. Anyways, let's get all this stuff listed and see what we can buy today. Alright guys, so I'm sure you know by now I'm a big fan of Arcane Dust, and right now they are pretty cheap. And it's perfect timing as we're getting closer to Tuesday, so we'll go ahead and grab everything up to 1 gold 28. And speaking of enchanting materials, there's also 15 stacks of 4 large prismatic shards, so 16 total for pretty much 27 gold each. Uh, but the next highest listing is at 31 gold right now. This is kind of a no-brainer. This seems like a guaranteed 3 to 4 gold on each shard. So we'll pick these up. We'll also buy some black pearls. There's just 3 up here, but they are well below the average price. So I might as well buy them. And lastly, we'll get some scrolls. There's the scrolls of spirit here. I'm not too sure why people are undercutting so much. But as you guys can see, there's a few here that are like at 50% of the average market value. So we can just relist those and make a few gold. And same story for the scrolls of strength. Not as big of a margin as the spirit ones, but definitely some gold to be made here as well. Alright guys, so I went ahead and relisted everything. These are all of our auctions, and if we do see any potential flips tomorrow, we also have like 600 gold or so left in our bags to play with in the meantime. So we're looking good so far, just have to stay consistent and we'll reach our goal. So I'll leave these in overnight as usual, and I'll check back with you guys tomorrow morning. Nice, okay guys, so our first batch of auctions for the day, we already have 200 gold. Pretty much all of it is coming from sales from Greater Planar Essences. Unfortunately, the rest of our mailbox is a lot of large prismatics that haven't sold that we picked up yesterday, but that's okay. Like I mentioned yesterday with the arcane tones, we just gotta stay patient and I'm sure these will sell at a good price. As for batch number two of auctions, we have 150 gold. It looks like, again, it's more greater planar essences that sold and we're getting our prismatics back as well. And some other miscellaneous items like spell cloth and mana pods and all that jazz. And for the last set of 32 auctions, we have 263 gold. We have a bit more variety in here. We sold some scrolls, some marking dust, a few mana pods as well, and some leather and pearls that we picked up yesterday as well. 
So not too bad. Definitely no huge sales today, unfortunately, but we're Tuesday, so we'll hopefully see a lot more sales coming in this afternoon and later tonight. So I went ahead and listed all of our items up on the auction house, and today we'll go ahead and buy some coilfang armaments. There is a small price gap here for this stack of nine, so we can probably just relist it at six gold 80 and make like two gold on each one, so that's not too bad. We'll also buy a bunch of these large brilliant shards. Typically we sell for over four gold on raid days, so I'll go ahead and buy everything up to like four gold 30, and let's hope people buy these throughout the afternoon. And I'll buy these five greater planar essences. All of my old ones sold yesterday and the price is definitely a lot more than I typically buy them at. But since there's a small price gap, I'll just grab them. It won't be that much money, but as with everything, it just adds up. And we'll also buy these six nexus crystals and have someone convert them into large prismatic shards later. A lot of the people have been mixing these up in my past videos. This is not Void Crystal, guys. These are Nexus Crystals. Uh, so you can convert these into small prismatic shards and then into large prismatic shards. Uh, the Void Crystal recipe comes out, I believe, in Sunwell. So just a small FYI for those who've been confusing both recipes in the previous episodes. All right, so these are the auctions for today, guys. We already have 700 gold in sales while we were recording this, and we still have like 4.3K of stuff listed up here. So not too bad. Let's hope that most of it sells by tomorrow, and we'll see if we want to change our strategy or not by then. Hey guys, actually this is just a few minutes after the previous clip. I actually saw this guy in trade chat before I logged off uh, that was selling some Arcing Dust and Greater Planar Essences at a really good price. So 5 gold for each essence and 1 gold per Arcing Dust, which is honestly the price I typically try to buy them at on the auction house. So that's really perfect for us. I'll go ahead and buy 16 essences and two stacks of arcane dust since that's all that he had left and we'll also list this on the auction house with the rest of our items okay so it's wednesday morning so let's take a look and see if we had any big sales yesterday so the first batch of auctions already have 280 gold so that's a pretty good start we managed to sell 10 prismatic shards it seems unfortunately we sold them at a lower price than we originally wanted but we still made at least one gold for each one of them here so that's pretty good. Our second batch of auctions, we have 1.5k gold worth of sales. That's actually really nice. Looks like a lot of our scrolls did not sell, uh, but the rest of our sales were the large prismatics, uh, some large brilliant shards. We also profited roughly one gold on each of these guys and some scrolls at the end as well. So that's pretty solid so far. Let's take a look at the next batch. So for the third and final batch, we have 1.1k worth of sales. We sold some core stone, a few mana pots, a lot of large brilliant shards, uh, some greater planar essences, a bunch of spell cloth as well. And we also had some of our bids come back. I was trying to bid on an epic DOE item that was really cheap, but unfortunately someone else was bidding on it and it just kept automatically adding time to the auction. So anyways, I just let it go. It would have been nice to win it, but uh, for the series as a whole, it really doesn't make much of a difference. So anyways, that was actually a really good day. We almost had 3k worth of sales in that one day alone. We do have a few things left to sell off, mainly the scrolls and some mana pots as well as some spell cloth. But I'm pretty confident we'll get rid of these throughout the next day or so. Alright, so I got all of our old items listed back up on the auction house. For today, we won't do anything too crazy, we'll just stick with what's been working so far. And since the prices of pretty much everything right now is a bit overly expensive, I'll just pick up the greater planar essences. There's quite a few, so if we can sell them all at around 6 gold or so, hopefully we can make like 50 to 60 gold on that lot. And before I show you guys all of our auctions, I had forgotten to convert the Nexus Crystals into large prismatic shards yesterday. So we went ahead and tipped this enchanter 5 gold and he converted them all for us. So here are the auctions for the day. Not bad. Overall, we probably profited like 600 to 800 gold just from yesterday's sales alone. So let's try to push it to get to the 7 to 8k mark, hopefully by the end of the episode. Also, some of you guys in the comments have been asking to show my slash played. So here it is as of right now. Unfortunately, this character used to be a bad call before the series. So it probably had maybe I'd say like a day or so of slash played already. 
but anyways, I'll try to show the slash blade from time to time whenever I actually remember to do it. So at least it gives you guys a reference point of how long these episodes are and how long it actually takes me to list things and so on. All right, for this morning, our first batch of auctions, it looks pretty solid. We have 284 gold already. All of it is coming from our greater planar essences. These have been a real killer this episode so far, so I'm really happy about that. The items that haven't sold are kind of the same ones as usual. A lot of our recipes in our two right remedy cloak as well as our uh, last cloak of arcane evasion. It seems these are a lot slower to sell now that the rays are kind of on farm. So I don't really plan on crafting them anymore. I'll hopefully sell them off for at least a profit. But it's probably been close to a week now. So if we have to end up selling it for a loss, we probably will. For our second batch of auctions, we have 467 gold worth of sales. Again, a lot of essences sold. Some spell cloth sold as well. And we sold a bunch of mana pots as well, which is always nice. We also sold one rat and pattern here for 5 gold and some arcane dust for around 1.5 gold each. So overall, pretty solid. Alright, so everything is listed and the price of spell cloth seems pretty cheap overall. Uh, remember guys, we sold some spell cloths just a few days ago for around like 37 gold each. Uh, so even if I still have a bunch of these that haven't sold yet, I think we'll still buy these up. At worst, we can always have someone craft us spell strike hoods or spell strike pants and sell those if we're really struggling to sell them off. So I think it's a pretty good flip overall, so we'll try it out. And since I've sold the remaining few mana potions yesterday, uh, I think I'll try getting mats to craft a few more. The last two weeks we've crafted some mana potions, we made a pretty decent amount of gold on that flip. So since the Dreaming Glory prices are pretty cheap, I'll buy a few of those. The price of Falweed is a bit more expensive than I typically like to pay for it. So what I'll do is I'll actually just wait a few days or so uh, to let the price stabilize on that one. And then I'll eventually go ahead and buy them up just to craft our potions. We'll also buy some Netherweave Cloth. This one is super easy. There's quite a bit up here as well, which is really nice for us. I'll get a few stacks under 14 silver and probably relist it around 16 to 17 silver as usual. And lastly, we'll grab some Aldor and Scryer items. We'll pick up some Marks of Sargeras. Usually anything under 50 silver is my go-to price. And same thing for the Sun Fury Signets. We'll get everything under 50 silver there. Okay, so this is what the auctions look like for today. We still have a bunch of Dreaming Glories in our inventory as well, since we have to buy some Felwies later on this week to make mana potions. Uh, we also have about 20 or so stacks of Netherweave cloth. I actually kept them in my bags because there was just like so much Netherweave listed up on the auction house right now. So I'm just going to wait until a lot of it clears up before I list uh, my stacks of Netherweave. Since the listing fee is actually pretty expensive on this item, especially when we're only going to be making like 40 to 50 silver profit per stack. So anyways, I'll leave these in overnight and check back in tomorrow to see how we're looking. Alright, so for our first batch of auctions, we have 623 gold, so that's pretty good. A lot of it is our scrolls, which is good because we're coming over to the weekend and prices are typically slowly dropping. We also sold our Marks of Sargeras and the Signets as well. I really like the Signets and the Marks of Sargeras. I honestly rarely list them more than once, and when I actually do, they usually sell off by the second day. So I think I'll try and keep flipping them if I see them at a decent price. And for our last 27 auctions, we have 362 gold. Again, more marks sold and some large brilliant shards as well. Now, I think it's time, guys. I've been saying this for quite a while now, but we made some decent gold on all the recipes we bought in episode 3 or 4. I can't really remember which one exactly, but I think the remaining ones are just not worth it. The profit on them will just be a few silver. And the listing fees are just kind of eating up our gold at this point. So I'll go ahead and vendor them and it'll just make our auctions a bit cleaner going forward. As for today's items, I'll go ahead and grab our Felwe needed to make our mana potions. I don't think it'll get much better than this, so I might as well get them right now. And that way we can slowly start selling some mana potions throughout the weekend if need be. I'll also get a few Scrolls of Spirits. I typically sell these anywhere around 5 to 7 gold during raid nights, so might as well grab them when they're cheap. And there's also some large brilliant shards here. There's a nice 1 gold gap at around 5 gold, so I'll go ahead and buy everything that's underneath that. 
I've also been meaning to actually convert our 20 spellcloth into either spell strike pass or spell strike hoods. And I mean, I know I could probably just sell this spell cloth as is, but I think it would be nice to see if this item actually still sells. I think they should, since I'll still use them, and even some locks still go for the spell strike pads as their best in slot like piece. So, anyways, I found this guy willing to craft the pads, and he was charging me 70 gold for his nether. So, we'll grab the mats and have it crafted. Alright, guys, so we just got our pads crafted. I went ahead and listed them on the auction house right away. And lastly, for today, I'll buy some cheap lesser planar essences and just convert them into greater essences to sell. And we'll also get a few stacks of arcane dust at around 1.1 gold each. Perfect, so these are all of our auctions. We did not find a potion master yet for our mana pots, unfortunately. So I left most of our herbs in the bank for now. We still have 10 spell cloth and some nether weave in our bags, so we still have quite a bit of inventory to move in the next few days. So let's not slow down and see what we can get done tomorrow. Okay guys, so for our first and only batch of auctions for today, we have almost 1.5k gold, so that's great to see. We sold just a few arcane dust, uh, no scrolls it seems, or large brilliant shards. Uh, we did sell a few stacks of nether weave cloth at around 17 silver each, which is pretty decent. And our spell strike pants, Jesus, I didn't think they'd sell that quickly to be honest. Uh, one day turnaround on an item like this is not that common, I'd say, but I'll take it. And we also sold one of our low level jewel crafting recipes we bought a few episodes ago uh, for around 30 gold, so that's pretty good. Okay, so just before I go list everything and look for more items to purchase, I'll just sign this guy's guild charter. A lot of people have been pointing out that I kept missing these in the last few episodes, so since I noticed this one, I'll go ahead and do it. It's a free 10 gold, so I might as well take it. So for today, we'll buy some large prismatic shards. Uh, what I'll do is I'll actually buy the 9 single stacks at 25.89 and relist just under the 1 stack of 4. And the reason why I won't be undercutting the stack of 20 at 28 gold is because usually people don't buy enchanting materials in bulk. So we can potentially make 1 gold more on each prismatic just by actually listing it properly in stacks of 1s. I'll also get ready for this upcoming Tuesday and buy a bunch of Scrolls of Spirit. And we'll also get a bunch of Scrolls of Protection. A lot of guilds use these for Lady Vosh just so that the cloth wearers don't get one shot by her multi shot. So I think this will be a pretty good seller. And we'll also buy some Marks of Sargeris and some Sun Fury Signets. And since Fell Armaments are pretty cheap right now, I'll buy these as well. Typically on my server, they sell pretty regularly for 10 gold each. So I'm pretty confident we can make some gold on this item. I actually don't usually look at Eternium Ores or Bars, but it looks like Eternium Ore right now is a bit underpriced. I'm not too familiar with what its average price should typically be, but TSM says around 80 to 90 silver each, so we'll give it a go. And lastly, we'll go ahead and buy some Golden Pearls. Uh, they've worked well for us in the past. I'm sort of surprised this item regularly sells, but I guess some people prefer to do the lower tier classic enchants on certain weapons. So, I mean, I won't complain. All right, so here are the auctions so far. I wasn't able to find a tailor to craft another pair of spell strike pants or hood. So I'll probably get back on later this afternoon when there's a little bit more people on and see if we can get that going. Hey guys, so it's a bit later in the afternoon and we actually bought some more Felweed and Dreaming Glories because I want to make a big batch of Super Mana Pots this time around. I kind of messed up and didn't realize, but there was some items that sold in the mix when I opened all my auctions. Uh, so just to show you guys, we had like 140 gold of sold items that we picked up and it seems it was all from Fell Armaments. So anyways, I'll go find either a Potion Master or a Tailor with a Primal Nether, whichever one comes first, and I'll update you guys with our crafts. Okay, perfect. So I found someone willing to craft the Spell Strike Pass for 70 gold for his Nether. Uh, I kind of wanted to craft the Hood just for diversity but he only had the pants so we'll just go ahead and do that we did pay around 60 gold per primal might which is a bit expensive but since the price of the spell cloth was actually pretty cheap even if we sell this pair of spell strike pants for like 900 or even 800 gold we'll still profit a decent chunk uh, just for reference our total cost for these pants is roughly 650 gold or so 
Okay, so we finally found a Potion Master to make all of our mana pots. I'm kind of torn here. This is the first person who wasn't too, too happy with our tip. So let me know in the comments down below, should I have tipped this person more or was my tip pretty average? Uh, so overall, he crafted roughly 500 mana pots and I tipped him 40 gold. From my point of view, I would have been happy with 40 gold because, I mean, he could just press craft all and go FK and it's 40 gold right there. It's not really click intensive or anything but i don't know maybe since it took him like 20 to 25 minutes i should have tipped him a bit more anyways let me know in the comments down below would you have been pissed if you got a 40 gold tip for that type of craft or would you have been pretty happy with it now since we have so many mana potions in our inventory uh, what i'll go ahead and do is i'll go ahead and buy some netherweave bags and actually buy more bank slots so we can go ahead and store all of our potions there in the meantime It'll set us back maybe 100 gold or so, but in the grand scheme of things, it's really not that big of a deal. Perfect, so now our bags are looking a little bit cleaner, so I'll go ahead and check back in later tonight after raid and hopefully have a lot more sales or else we might need to buy a few more bank slots. Okay, so for our first batch of auctions, not too bad. We have 475 gold of sales. Looks like most of it is coming from our Marks of Sargeras. Uh, some fell armaments and large prismatic shards. And for our second batch of auctions, we have around 200 gold of sales. Here we sold all of our Eternium Ore and some Nether Reef Claws, so that's pretty nice to see. Thankfully, we still have plenty of backspace in our back so far, so let's go ahead and check if we can buy anything cheap to list overnight. Okay, so for tonight, we'll buy some good old trusty arcane dusts. And lastly, I'll also grab some Void Crystals. These fluctuate quite a bit in price, and I'm pretty sure we can sell them for over 5 gold each. So these are the auctions that we're leaving it off with this episode. We have 3.2k worth of listed auctions with 3k gold in our bags. And we also have around 500 mana potions waiting to be sold as well. So overall, I'm really happy with the progress. We didn't get nearly as close to the 8k mark as I would like for this episode, but that's okay. Hopefully with all the mana potions we've made, we can maybe get there by the next episode. I really hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. Since we are going to reach the 10k mark most likely in a few episodes, I was wondering if you guys had any ideas as to what I should do with the 10k gold. I would have kind of liked to give back to you guys somehow. It would have been nice to do some sort of giveaway for the gold, but I'm not too sure how I do that across different realms and different servers. Uh, but anyways, if you guys have any ideas at all, let me know in the comments down below. And if any of them gets an overwhelming amount of likes, I might as well do that. So that's it for episode 7. Again guys, if you're enjoying the series so far, make sure to like the video for that algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe not to miss out on any future episodes. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.